really don't like me. Keep your nasty ass opinions about Dylan to your fucking self. She is a shining star in this world. And I'm fixing to get angry. Leave your fucking homophobic comments at home. Talk about a true narcissist. As soon as you say something or have an opinion on something they don't like or agree with, they go crazy like. That is as crazy as can be. That's like true narcissism. Some people like Dylan Mulaney. Most people don't like Dylan Mulaney. People in this world will vote with their wallets. If they like what they're advertising, they will go and buy products. If they don't like the advertising or it annoys them or offends them for whatever reason, they have the right not to go and buy a product. This is why you have Budweiser in crisis meetings because of losing six billion dollars and their products are not selling at all and they've got had to fire CEOs and, and executives. And all these companies have not learnt their lesson. Nike, Maybelline, Budweiser, I think there's some other brand who's marketing called Gummy Bear or something. But literally, this is what's going to happen. You are a company selling to your consumers. If you're going to annoy your customers, they're not going to buy your products anymore. It's simple basic economics. Any good campaign and advertising will tell you that. And this is why now Bud, Budweiser are trying to make adverts to try and put this right, to try and get their customers back because they're being an absolute made a mockery of. And there's more, I see more videos of shops that have got Budweiser in but nothing else in because everything else is sold out because people are not buying Bud than anything else. This is what happens when you start to try and force a narrative that your customers don't like. Now, people can be where they want to be, but some people agree with this, some, and most people don't agree with this. That's just called the way it is. Keep listening, Princess Peach, at the end of the line, I'll make you mine. And here we've got a nice little confirmation put together for my nieces and nephews. And again, it's going to happen. No, people are going to boycott companies. Uncle Jason says again, people vote with their wallets. So again, you just see that little clip there of a confirmation put together of what's going to happen next. The boycott of another brand and another brand. And every brand that's going to jump on this, let's use the Malayne, let's try and be this. What these that need to start realising is, you can do, if your company, you want to sponsor the Malayne, you crack on. But don't go whinging about it when your share price is wee. When you have to fire your CEOs and your executives, and then you've got to try and make damage control commercials and beg your um, your drinkers, your um, product users, your customer base to come back to you. Now this is actually quite funny, really, in all fairness, right? The the picture on the on the right is literally a video where he's a doll. I'm not playing it because I'm just not. I can't be. I can't put myself through a talk watching that. He like he dresses it and he like is like he thinks he's a doll kind of thing and he does and he just acts all silly. All he is is an attention seeking narcissist. Okay, there is no genuine trans with him at all. You know, he is doing nothing different now to what he was when he was a well, sorry. Right, when she was a man, this is this is what's so confusing for going on. It's back and forth. Like, it's what do you say? Is it like did he do? Is he did he do? Did he do? Did he do? Day like when she was a man, right? There is no difference from what she was doing when she when when he when she was a he, and now he is a she. It's the same. The only difference is between Dylan as a man. And Dylan as a trans woman is money, 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 and attention like they are ones. I'm a good narcissist. Please look at me, but don't criticize me. Because I cannot take your criticism. I'll just get upset on Twitter. Oh, oh no. Oh, you can't anymore, can you? I just realised Twitter's not your friend anymore, is it now? I bet it's not. I'll get I'll get us on to, um, TikTok instead, or you'll go on um, Facebook or um, Instagram, or you'll just put an article out there with your um, friends, 
and you know on YouTube and stuff like that probably. As always, my nieces and nephews, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe when you're out, and I'll see you next one.